Dennis Abdurrahman. I'm a lecturer at a public university in Kenya. I deliver lectures in computing and informatics. In our last lesson, we had talked about the structure of C programming, and basically we had seen that we it involves that uh, the preprocessor directive. We had written up the hash include standard input output dot h. We had what we call the main function int main, and then we had a block of statement which starts with a opening curly bracket and closing curly bracket. In today's lesson, basically, we are going to talk uh, about what is a syntax and uh, uh, ask ourselves what is a syntax and what are the variables and what are the data types. So, let's start by saying what is a syntax. So, basically, a syntax is nothing but the arrows. As in our previous lessons, we've seen that for anyone to understand any language, he must understand uh, the rules of that particular language. So each and every language has got its own rules. English has got its own rules. Kiswahili has got its own rules. And Arabic has got its own rules. So a syntax is nothing but the rules which governs how to write up a program. And in C programming, Basically, these particular rules are grouped together and they are called tokens. So, uh, these particular tokens actually consist basically of smallest unit of characters. So, they contain smallest units of characters and these characters, they are the ones which we are going to see how to write in programming languages. And basically, C has got uh, these tokens, five of them. And today's lesson, we're going to discuss those five characters or five tokens of C program. The first one is what we call up uh, as a keyword. The second one, it's what we call as identifiers. And the third one is what we call as constant. And the fourth one is what we call variables. And the last one is what you call up symbols. So let's discuss one by one and see uh, what are the keywords. So keywords, basically, these are what you call uh, reserve words used by C programming. And uh, they cannot be used uh, for writing up tokens of identification or tokens of constant or tokens of variables. They are just reserve words whereby C programming, they reserve these particular words uh, uh, to communicate with the computer. And uh, basically, they can be divided into two. We have got reserve words uh, which they follow under the data types. And these are such as you cannot write up such as what you call up uh, an integer, maybe a double, a float, and so many other. Others, they are what we fall on to control structures. Under control structures, we have like the words if, switch, or we can have like the for loop, the word for, uh, the word while, do while, and so many others of them. So the second um, token here we are talking about, the second token uh, is called an identifier. So what's an identifier? 
this identifier, there are nothing but their names, which are used by programmers. And uh, these particular names, they are used to, uh, to identify what you call up variables or functions. And in our last lesson, we have seen this is a function basically having a data type, the name, and then opening and closing uh, uh, bracket, and then opening and closing curly bracket. So these are the names. Like here, the name, it is men. This is a men, it's called, why it is called a main function. So those are names. And uh, this identifiers, they have got some, uh, a little bit of a rules. They must start with an alpha numeric. Alpha numeric, uh, we are talking about, they must start up with either a letter, A, B, C, D, up to Z, or number, one, two, three. But there's a catch here. You cannot start up with a number. You must start up uh, with an underscore. So the underscore is very important to start up uh, with. And also symbols, they cannot be used such as art, percentage, and the rest. And number three token here, we are talking about um, uh, basically they are what you call up constants. So constant, they are actually fixed values. They are fixed values. These are fixed values uh, which they are uh, assigned to a particular variables. And um, in C programming, they can be declared using a, a reserve word called const. And we are going to talk much about uh, how to declare up a constant in our future uh, lessons. And uh, basically, um, uh, those are what we call up uh, uh, constants. And uh, uh, these constants, when they are once declared, they are declared uh, uh, globally so they can be used by the whole program. Most of the time, they have done that. The next item here we are talking about, they are variables. And variables, basically, they are containers. And these containers actually hold values. They hold values, and these particular values and uh, variables, they are declared uh, into a memory, and they are given a location. So on a, a very light note, we can say that the variables, they refer to a memory location, uh, and that they hold some values, and these values can be manipulated by the CPU. And the last one here we are talking about is what we call up symbols. So symbols, these are actually uh, more precise, they are mathematical symbols. And these particular mathematical symbols, they are used uh, basically uh, to do any other computation to tell up a compiler what to do. And basically, they can be safely divided into two. We have got what we call arithmetic symbols. An example of symbols will be like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulus. And also, you can have what you call relational uh, symbols. Relational symbols, basically, they are less than, equals to, greater than, and uh, not equal to, and so many of them. So, in order to try to understand these particular concepts of what is a syntax, we are going to take up a very simple a scenario or example of writing up a very small program, and then we can try to understand each and every one. So before we write up a program, we have to write up the structure of C. So uh, a structure of C, basically that's what we are supposed to write. So let's write hash include, and then we have our standard input output file, and then we have our int main method, and then we can write up uh, uh, we can write up uh, statements of codes. So here we are going to define a variable. So a variable, we're saying it's supposed to be what? Uh, a variable, it's a name, it's supposed to hold up value. 
for manipulation in the CPU. So we are, uh, we are making up a data type called integer and a variable called a is going to hold a value of 10 into memory. And then we're declaring another one called b, another one called b, which is going to hold a value of 20. And then another one called c, which is going to hold a value of a plus b. So basically here we're using up a symbols, mathematical symbols, that's an addition symbol of adding up the value of a, which is 10 and 20. And then we are going to write up our input output function that is printf. And in our printf, we are bringing up a new uh, a new concept which is called percentage d. These are what you call uh, uh, directives to sh in order to show um, our result. So we are going to print up c. So if you run this particular program, so our output should be given as 30. So let's see practically how we can put up this into a perspective and see what happens. So when you go back here, we want uh, to write up our program. So here we are saying that is our structure of C. So we are writing now the syntax. So we are saying int A is equal to 10 and then int B equals to 20 and int C equals to A plus B. A plus B. So, and then here we are saying print F percentage D then we are saying C. But here you can see that there are some rules which must be, must be followed. And let's see some of these rules. Let's see some of these rules which are very important for us to follow. And uh, these rules, basically, they'll tell us, uh, uh, try to tell us what happens. So rules, basically there are very few rules. Rule number one, that uh, C programming, it is case sensitive. By meaning case sensitive A, it is not equal to A, capital A. It will be seen as a different thing, so that is number one. Number two, all sentence must end up with a semicolon. And you can see here that all our sentences are ending up with a semicolon. And number three, that white space. The white space, it's very important that it is required. When we are writing up keywords, here we have got keywords like int, we are seeing we are putting up white space, and uh, also they are required white space when you are writing up uh, uh, identifiers uh, such as variables. Here we are seeing up a, a variable, you cannot put up together uh, int a together as one word. So space is very important. So these are the, some of the rules which are required into uh, C programming. So let us execute and see uh, what happens. So we execute and actually uh, we are getting up our answer to become up 30. So uh, that is, uh, we'll make up the end what is a syntax. In our next lesson, we are going to talk about uh, what is a variable, no matter other data types. So thank you for watching and remember to subscribe below and follow us for any new updates and new videos. Thank you very much. Goodbye.